called friend or foe. Friend. Anyone can say that. I don't know you. What do you want here? What are you doing here? What does it look like? I must see to it that these miserable wretches gets the palisade built in time. If they don't, Captain Greg will kick my ass all over the place. Also, I keep strangers from traipsing in here just like that. What are you building the palisade for? Well, we don't want to make it too easy for the bandits. Those bastards are getting more brazen all the time. They've been sneaking around our camp for days now, just like sharks after a shipwreck. Some of those good-for-nothings are holding up in the tower a little south of here. But that's only an advance party, I'm sure. If they're really stupid enough to mount an attack, we'll give them a welcome they won't forget. Greg's your boss? He sure is, and it's Captain Greg to you. Have I made myself clear? He's a great man. If you meet him, be careful not to get on the wrong side of him. You won't live long enough to regret it. He's not in the camp right now, though. Francis is in command for now. He sits in front of Greg's hut all day and goggles at us working. Why would the bandits attack you? Because there's war between them and us. What did you think? Everything was peachy at first. We brought them here, they marched right into their swamp and left us alone. But now, those bastards attack anyone who's not one of them. Heaven knows what's gotten into them. I reckon they may be after our boats. There's no other way to get out of here after all. You should ask Skip about this. He's been with them and barely got away with his life. He's got quite an interesting tale to tell. Too bad you can't hear it, though. <laughs> you haven't paid your toll, after all. I want in there. Really? That'll cost you, though. 500 gold pieces. You got some gold, haven't you? Can't we come to an agreement somehow? Well, give me a good reason and I might make it cheaper for you. I'm supposed to bring Morgan this meat. Aha, <laughs> and who sent you? Alligator Jack. He says that Morgan is already waiting for it. I see. Not in the mood himself, is he? Let me in. Mm. You want to play errand boy for Alligator Jack and bring the swamp rat meat to Morgan. 400 gold pieces or you just get lost. It's as simple as that. I think that's... Come on, I already made it cheaper for you.
Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there. Called friend or foe. Friend. Anyone can say that. I don't know you. What do you want here? About those bandits in the tower. Yes. They're a history. Did you pull that off all by yourself? Respect. Maybe you'll even be a real pirate someday. Let me in. Mm. You want to play errand boy for Alligator Jack and bring the swamp rat meat to Morgan. And best of all, you got that varmint in the tower off our backs. I never thought you could do it all by yourself. 200 gold pieces. Or you just get lost. It's as simple as that. Good. Here's your gold. Thanks. Welcome to our camp. If you were planning to sign on with us, lad, you're out of luck. Only the captain decides who gets to sign on in here, and he took half the crew and went to sea after booty. But you can stay until he's back, provided you don't cause any trouble here. That's no secret. Know who to believe these days. How's it going? Yeah, I can't complain. It's a bit boring, but at least I don't have to work. I'm preparing for the next task that Greg's given me. What task? I mustn't say. No offense, kid, but I've worked hard for the privilege, and I don't want to lose it again. That's all just gossip. Can you teach me something? I'm sorry. I've got no time right now. I've got some training to do. Who around here can teach me something? Henry and Morgan are leading our raiding troops. They could teach you how to be a better fighter. Henry's people all use two-handed weapons. Morgan prefers the faster one-handed weapons. Who else? Beats me, I've never been interested in anything else. But I'm sure that Alligator Jack or Samuel could still show you a trick or two.
How are things going with you? What's up? Did Henry send you here? Tell him to get his planks as soon as I'm done. If he can't wait that long, he's welcome to saw them himself. What are all these planks for? We use them for the palisade, you dimwit. Greg thought it would be a good idea to secure our camp this way. We can save ourselves the work if you ask me. If the bandits are really planning to attack us, this ridiculous palisade isn't going to stop them. We should have never tolerated them in our valley in the first place. If I'd known all this in advance, I'd have stayed in Corunus. Can I help you saw? Nah, I can handle this by myself. I joined up here not long ago, and letting others do my work won't get me anywhere if you get my drift. You've been to Carinus? Yes. I kept myself afloat there, picking pockets and doing a little swindle or two. But whenever fewer ships came in, business got worse and worse. At some point, I got tired of being on the run from the militia for a few crusts of bread. That's when I joined Greg. Now I'm stuck here, sawing all day to build a palisade that's of no use to anyone. Can you teach me something? Well, I could show you how to pick other people's pockets unnoticed, but you should be fairly dexterous, or you can just forget it. How's it look? Who are you? Are you one of the bandits? Do I look like one? Nah, judging from your clothes, you've come a long way. What are you doing here? Now I'm cutting wood for our camp. Now I'm slaving away here, almost breaking my back. And back in camp, they're all lounging in the sun. And? If I had known all this in advance, I'd never have become a pirate. Uh, I'm staying out of it. Agree with you completely. What have we here? Crossing the path of old I've Skip again? Like I know you. The bay near the city, remember? Skip, right? I <laughs> see I made a lasting impression. But I've seen your mug elsewhere in the meantime. But of course! <laughs> That'll never change. Oh well, That's not a great likeness, new. but it's certainly you. Don't let it get to you. My own wanted poster looks just as daft. That's been known a long time. What are you doing here? I've just come back from Corinus, and now I'm waiting for Greg to return. Is it really true? What can you tell me about the bandits? The bandits? They're attacking us! Why do you think we're building this palisade? We brought those scumbags over here ourselves. We used to trade with them. Boy, let me tell you, they've got more gold than they'll ever know what to do with. They were prepared to pay any price for a bottle of rum. But those times are past. It's war now. What happened? Those bastards hadn't paid for their last shipment. So I went there to see what had become of our gold. But when I got to the swamp, uh, the swine attacked me. And that's not all. If he doesn't they killed see them, Angus and help. Hank, two of our best people. Huh. Just stay away from that swamp, I tell you. They'll go after anyone who doesn't look as shabby as they do. Uh, he really should have known better. Tell me more about Angus and Hank. Angus and Hank were supposed to meet with some bandits in front of the camp. They were carrying all kinds of supplies. Everything change? those bastards had ordered from us. Forged steel and lockpicks and whatnot. But they never came back. The bandit that, swine must have done away with them. Morgan and Bill yeah, ben went ben out to look for that. them without any success. That's Bill really was pretty from. devastated. They were both friends of his. He's still true. young. These things really get to him. That's not the rest of us took it in our stride. The goods we can afford to lose. Uh, but the grog they were carrying. Yeah, really we're talking at least 20 bottles. I used to say that myself. I'm not telling you anything new. <laughs> Things I can tell you. I saw Greg and Corinna's. Really? Damn. Something must have gone wrong then. 
You should have been here with our ship some time ago. I suppose I should go back to Corinus and wait for him there. Ah, but certainly not today. I only just arrived here. You hardly know who to believe these days. Have you ever met Raven? Certainly. When I was with Henry up at the gate, I watched Raven place some of his boys at the tower to the south. Just a stone's throw from our camp. Nobody wants to know. <laughs> I guess they're supposed to spy on us. With I've also seen how he treats his people when they don't do his bidding. Huh. He'll he make short to? shrift of anyone who doesn't obey his orders That's to the letter. Mark my words, stay well away from Raven. Huh. I couldn't get away with that. That's not what I heard. Can you take me to Corinus? No way. I'm not leaving now. I'll find myself a decent swig of grog first. All that matters is strength, so don't tell me that. And Have you got anything to sell? If you want to trade, go to Garrett. I agree. He's in charge of our supplies. You don't have I to need me. Bandit's armor. You want to go in there? Are you he insane? I can't help Once you. those guys find out, you're not one of them. You're sausage meat. Do you have any idea That's where I could find guess. armor like that? Ah, you don't give up easily, do I you? All right. We used to have a suit. Greg's really probably so still got it somewhere, up in his hut. Maybe you can buy it from him when he gets back. I never knew that. About that grog. You're missing 20 There's bottles, right? Yes, damn it. My entire stock. Yeah, he really said that. About that grog, you're missing. Yes, is that. Can you tell me how to get into his hut? Oh, there. Not so fast. You weren't thinking of ransacking Greg's stuff, were you? When he left, he gave the key to Francis and told him not to let anyone into his hut. You tell me. What can you tell me about Francis? Francis is our treasurer. The captain trusts him. That's probably why he left him in command. But none of the boys here really. really take him seriously. If you want to know more, no talk to Samuel. He's got his still in the little cave north of here. Business. There isn't a soul in this camp Samuel doesn't know all kinds of things about. That's not what I heard. Same old thing, all over again. He would have never thought of that himself. What have we here? A uh, fresh I'm face, and not one of those filthy bandits, I hope. I'm Garrett. If there's anything you need, ask me first. Uh, I can get you almost anything. Wine, weapons, All and other stuff you might so need, except for booze. If it's a decent drink you want, go later. see Samuel. That's all just gossip. Who's Samuel? He's our moonshiner. He's got his cave on the beach, a little distance from the camp. You can't miss it. Just walk north. You'll be well advised to keep yourself supplied with grog. Some that. of the boys here aren't very fond of greenhorns at all. If you uh, get my drift, a decent swig of grog can work wonders That's for you. Gossip. Where do you get your supplies? More, Skip always brings loads of stuff from Corinus when he visits if there. He Until see, recently, he used to sell some of it directly to the he bandits. To but since we've been at war with the bandits, I'm the one who oh, ends up with all the stuff now. Eh, been there, what do that. you know about the bandits? You'd better ask Skip about that. that. He's been through quite a lot with that bunch. Let me tell you, uh, Greg has given that. orders to do away with any bandit who shows up really near the camp. Problem. Your Captain Greg, uh, what's he like? Himself. He's a tough old bastard and no doubt about it. And greedy to the bone. He makes Francis, our treasurer, pay out not a penny more than what it takes to prevent a mutiny. And if one of us ever gets his hands on something really valuable, he'll inevitably take it for himself. I once took a compass from a royal frigate. That bastard Greg made me hand it over, of course. Bah. He probably buried it somewhere, just like the rest of his treasures. Where might Greg have buried that compass? Greg once told me that death himself watches over my compass. Then he laughed. Anything else? There's a beach at the southern coast. It can only be reached by sea. Greg is said to have been there often. Maybe you'll find something there. I once went there to see what I might find myself. 
but the area is teeming with monsters. That's all if you really want to give it a try, don't forget to bring a pick. Yeah, been there, done that. What can you tell me about Francis? That's Greg put him in so command wrong. while he's gone. But Francis is a total failure as a leader. He can't even get Morgan to stir his lazy That's ass out of bed. Henry and his boys are the only ones doing anything nothing. around here. The others are just enjoying themselves instead of working. I can only hope that Greg will come back soon. He'll give them all a good swift kick in the ass. Anything new? Nothing ever happens anymore since Greg left. Show me what you have. He doesn't even know how to hold a sword. I couldn't care less. That's not what I heard. He can't rely on that. He doesn't even know how to hold a sword. That was no big deal. He doesn't even know how to hold a sword. I couldn't care less. He listened to the wrong people. I've got no time for things like that. Nothing amazes me anymore. Can you tell me? Look around you. The only ones working are Henry and his boys. Morgan spends all day in bed or guzzling booze. No such nonsense with Greg. If you don't toe the line, he'll kick you in the butt, and that's that. Ever change? was obvious all along. New here, are you? Great. We can use every man. How are things? Right now. All's quiet in the camp, so I'm going to relax a little. And if I were you, I'd do the same. Since the bandits are here now, the situation may change faster than we like. What do you know about the bandits? You mean besides the fact that they're a deadly menace and outnumber us by far? Yes. They're rolling in gold. Well, at least they were rolling in gold. They never paid for their last shipment. But I doubt that it's because those bastards ran out of gold. Huh. <laughs> it's more likely that they've gotten way too big for their boots. What do you know about Francis? You mean besides the fact that he's lazy and incompetent? Yes. Let me think. Hmm. Nope. That's all that springs to mind. Is it really true? Can I help you saw? Nah, I can handle this by myself. I'm looking for Angus and Hank. <sighs> I have no idea where they are. The bandits must have got them. You were friends with them, weren't you? All I know is that they were gonna meet up with the bandits in a cave not far from here. It must be somewhere outside our camp, to the east. I don't know where exactly. I've never been there myself. Maybe you should ask Alligator Jack about this. He's always roaming around outside the camp. And? If I had known all this in advance... Hmm. I'm here to deliver some meat. Ah... I need a, a sip to wake me up. That's better. So again, uh, what do you want? 
I'm here to deliver some meat. From Alligator Jack? I remember. Right. The meat. Give it here. What are you doing here? Greg made me commander of one of the two raiding troops. I'm responsible for keeping the camp supplied. Alligator Jack sees to that. I'm also responsible for keeping those beasts you find out here well away from the camp. That's what the boys do. I told him I don't want to see a single beast left around here when Greg comes back. Do you ever do anything yourself? Hey, none of that lip. Mine is the most important task of all. I train my people. I make them into the best and most fearless fighters who ever sailed these waters. And it's not like the lads do all that work for nothing. They get a good sized bag of gold for their efforts. Can you train me as well? Sure, I can show you how to fight with one-handed weapons. I want to join your troop. <laughs> My troop? My troop is hanging out at the beach. Those boys won't lift a finger until the captain is back. You can count on that. But if you want to show everybody what you're made of, feel free to work on the northern beach. It's full of lurkers and who knows what else. Take them on by yourself and you'll earn the respect of the people. Welcome to my troop. <laughs> I'll go lie back down. to be had there.
The northern beach is all cleared. What about the cave? Have you been there too? Sure thing. Ah, great. You're a good man. Here's your reward. Is there anything else for me to do? Not at the moment. Go find yourself a bunk and have a decent bottle of rum. Ah, this is good stuff. About Angus and Hank. Oh, don't remind me of them. They probably got themselves killed by bandits, and Angus had my ring on him. Well, Shaw, sure, it was his ring, in a way. He won it from me playing dice, but I would have gotten it back, and now it's gone. If you find my ring, bring it back to me. I'd certainly make it up to you. Go lie back down. Ah, great idea. Hey. Ah, a new face. What do you want, rum or something stronger? What else have you got? I can get you anything a pirate needs in order to survive. I want to talk to you about Francis. Just don't mention that wannabe captain. He sits on his fat ass all day acting important. We'd all like to know what the hell the captain was thinking when he put him in command here. What do you want from that prig? I must get into Greg's hut. Really? To do what? I need a bandit's armor. Ha <laughs> ha! Francis will never agree to let you go into the hut so that you can nab a few of Greg's things. Unless... Yes? You've got something he really wants. I know that Francis has hidden something in an abandoned mine in the canyon. Once, when we were on guard duty together and he dozed off as always, he went on about it in his sleep. I've no clue what he buried there, but maybe it's so important to him that he'll let you into the hut to get it back. <laughs> when the captain comes back and finds some of his things are missing, he'll have Francis's hide for it. What's new in the camp? Nothing much has been happening here since Greg left. Morgan and most of his boys been just hanging around and boozing all day. The only one who does anything at all is Henry. He and his boys are building the palisade. It's high time for Captain Greg to come back and give that Francis a good swift kick in the ass. I want- Ah, a seeker. I'm always after new recipes myself. Decent booze should be clear and strong and burn your throat like liquid fire. You don't find that very often, but I'm talking too much. You want a drink? Here, my own recipe. How do you like that? I call it hasty herring. Ooh, impressive. <laughs> you can say that again. You wouldn't happen to know a good recipe for booze yourself. If you do, you must tell me. Want another? I must get into Greg's hut. Forget it. Greg's not there. And I've locked the door. And now I see to it that nobody sneaks around here to do a little looting. So make yourself scarce. Or I'll let you have it. And there's more, believe me.
I think I've found something. plunder. Do you know Angus and his friend Hank? I haven't seen them in a while. And I wouldn't mind if the pair of them never came back. Why? Oh, those bums always hung around the lake, scaring off the game. What lake would that be? Remember our hunt? Yep. The lake in the hollow. That's where I usually saw them.
Hey, you! You're not from around here, are you? You seem to have traveled far. Busy? Don't even ask. Henry wants me to chop down all the trees here. He stands around at the camp entrance all the time, talking big, more dedicated service to the community and all that crap. But he doesn't lift a finger himself. Henry is your leader? Yes, the leader of our raiding troop. Our captain is Greg, but he's not here at the moment. Where's your camp? Just continue down this path here, to the west. You'll see Henry standing there soon enough. I need to move on. Hey, when you get to our camp, give Henry a message from me. The trees around here are damn stubborn. He'll have to wait for his wood a while longer. Tell him that. Nothing there. <laughs> 